So what am I going to moan about today? There's been a lot happening over the weekend, so no doubt I found something to moan about. What I'm going to moan about is the people that are moaning about VAR. I represent my fucking self. How we doing, guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. That's right. Now, we all knew that VAR was going to come in. We all knew that there was probably going to be some contentious moments. Um, but... My issue is that VAR actually worked over the weekend. You look at the main talking points, it was in the Manchester City game against West Ham. Now, a goal was ruled out for Jesus. He was one millimetre offside. And there's people moaning about it, saying, oh, it's only a millimetre, oh, it's going to ruin the game. And VAR was brought in so that, you know, mistakes cannot happen anymore. There's been too many high-profile errors within football to not have this kind of technology now. It doesn't matter whether it's a millimetre, 10 millimetres, 20 millimetres. It doesn't matter. It's offside. Simple rules, simple facts. VAR got it right. The penalty missed by Sergio Aguero. Declan Rice had encroached. It was the right decision. The only time I can think of a similar kind of incident to that was the Arsenal Spurs game last season, where Aubameyang missed a last minute penalty. Vertonghen had encroached ridiculously. When the ball was laid back from the save to Aubameyang, he was tapping it into the empty net, and Vertonghen actually got a toe on it to lift it over the bar. Now, the only reason why he was there to make that block in the first place was because he encroached. So if VAR was in play last year, it would have ruled that it had to be retaken. Now, the severity and the magnitude of that incident was that Arsenal dropped two points in that game. Those two points are the difference between playing Europa League football and Champions League football. That is what I'm trying to get at. VAR is there to eradicate these high-profile decisions that are got wrong. It's simple. So I have no problem with VAR. It's got a few teething problems and it will take time to get used to, like the goal line technology. But it's there for a reason. So let's take a look back on the games this weekend. Of course, the Premier League is finally back. Now, the first two games that I do not want to talk about are the Leicester and Wolves game and the Crystal Palace and Everton game. Both finished nil-nil. Um, so let's just move on from those ones. Um, Watford, they lost 3-0 at home to Brighton. Now, that was a bit of a surprising result, to be quite honest with you. Um, I'm expecting big things from Watford this year and they've made some good signings, but... Brighton, they look a completely different side under Graham Potter. And um, there was a lot of unrest when Chris Hewton got sacked. Um, but yeah, if they kind of play that football throughout the course of the season, then I don't think many people are going to be moaning for much longer. Uh, Burnley, 3-0 win against Southampton. And um, yeah, they've got off to a winning start. And they'll be happy with that one. The first game of the new season, of course, was on Friday night and Liverpool have made their intentions very clear. 4-1 uh, win against newly promoted Norwich. Now, the scoreline doesn't really paint a true reflection on the game because Norwich actually played well. And if they play to that kind of level throughout the course of the season, then they're going to pick up a lot of points. It's just the fact that their opening game was against Liverpool at Anfield. Um, Manchester City, they've definitely laid down their intentions for the season. Away to West Ham, you would have thought that would have been a difficult game to start off their Premier League campaign, but they won 5-0. Raheem Sterling with a hat-trick. And it's the first game where you had your initial talking points of VAR. Um, the incident involving Jesus, where he scored, but it was actually given offside through VAR. Now, it was only one millimetre offside, and I've seen people moaning about it. It's offside. It doesn't matter if it's a millimetre or 10 millimetres. It's offside. Um, Sergio Aguero had a penalty saved. It was then overruled by, by VAR, 
and he had to retake it because Declan Rice encroached. So again, VAR worked, um, but Manchester City, like I said, they laid down their intentions big time. Um, Spurs, they had to come from behind against Aston Villa um, and they won their game 3-1. Harry Kane with a couple of goals in that game. Um, Arsenal, difficult away trip to Newcastle to start off their campaign, uh, given the fact that they had so many players missing and everything else. But um, Aubameyang um, does what he always does, which is score goals. And uh, they got the 1-0 victory. Um, and then the big game of the weekend was, of course, Manchester United and Chelsea. And Manchester United won this game 4-0. But again, the scoreline does not really paint a true reflection of the game because Manchester United in the first half were really, really poor. And they should not have been winning the game, to be quite honest with you. How Chelsea were not at least level, I do not know. And then two quick goals um, and then a goal for Daniel James. And it kind of gives a um, impression of a very comfortable afternoon, but it was far from that. Um, but Frank Lampard definitely has his work cut out. So there we go. Those are the results for the opening week. There weren't really too many surprises in there. I suppose the Watford one was a bit of a shock. Um, and maybe the scoreline of the Manchester United game being so, you know, big. But um, yeah, decent opening weekend. And um, I'm looking forward to next week's ones already. So... There we go. Next time on Blood Brothers. You remember everything. The feeling, you remember the sounds, the smells. It's all pretty painful. What got him through it? Football. Um, okay, so we're going to start a football team. We'll do anything we can to support, you know. What are you talking about? I'm part of the team. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, I'm literally...